Hello and welcome back to RP Zero America. So everything probably looks substantially different because we are in 1.1 point something. Let's say two right now, I think. Uh, so I've got all the things installed again. I really didn't think this would be possible, which is why I was kind of stated that as the end of my previous series. But hey, I'll start a new playlist and it uh, looks like you know, I may be able to continue on and do things the same or do things differently. We'll see how I feel. Uh, hmm, general construction. Okay, good. I do have text queued up. You can briefly see what I have there. Um, all right, so I'm going to just as kind of a test flight in this new 1.1 install, continuing my career. Um, I'm going to fly a Mercury Atlas with a, you know, with a crew member. So let's warp till it's done. It looks like a tech. Oh, right, that that was it. Uh, technology will finish general construction while uh, waiting. I can look into that later. We're just going to finish this craft, roll it out, warp to complete. There we go. All right, so everything is in place now. Let's fly a um, pilot into orbit. So yeah, this is going to be pretty much exactly the same as a launch I previously did without a crew member. Uh, the difference is that I'm in 1.1, and so I'm going to run into weird little difficulties and things that um, the, the most the worst is the um, PID, let's see, what is it, Position Integral Derivative, I guess what that stands for. Um, perhaps that's the wrong in, uh, the wrong um, acronym, now that I think about it. Um, but what what it is, is it looks at the, 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 you know, the, the various calculus functions of where you're currently positioned, how you're currently moving, like you tell it, I want you to be in this position, and so it looks at the calculus of that position and decides how do we steer in order to accomplish the final position that you've asked us to. Um, so the PID is not behaving so well in 1.1, and a couple of other things are still twitchy and such. But you know, I live with bugs. I don't uh, don't complain about them, or I fix them if I can. Um, so with the PID, uh, the the mech, mech jeb kind of has issues uh, controlling uh, craft, as does the stock is a little better, but not not that good either. And the only thing I've found that behaved fairly well was KOS. Uh, surprisingly, KOS script. See how it's kind of wobbling around the position here. Um, and sometimes it even gets worse, like that roll is actually, you know, it's kind of overcorrecting, and now it's just firing back, you know, uh, rapidly around the position it wants to be in. Uh, but anyway, that's that's one of the major issues. Um, so it just makes it a lot harder to steer and control your craft in general using any of the autopilot tools um, I've found. Now what else? So this plume will end up looking um, pretty white as we go up. I think that's just an issue with the current real plumes, but that's okay. Um, you know, once Felger has some time, hopefully he can look into that, or you know, I might end up trying to figure out what's causing that, because he did an update in the most recent cycle, and that seems to be when it kicked in. Um, yeah, so in this next cycle of, of videos, I, I intend to do things a bit differently than I did before, so I feel like I've accomplished the mission of those historic um, stages and kind of describing and going over how they were constructed and what they were constructed for and how they were used, you know. And so now I'm going to, you um, know, yeah, questions were asked uh, in various comments that perhaps I could build um, some custom craft, you know, build craft uh, of my own selection. And so I think I may, I may do that. I might transition to that through, you know, making some ahistorical choices in my, uh, whoop, you can see dynamic pressure is still pretty high. Uh, so it's tricky to arc over like that. I'll hold this manual control it for a little bit here. I make a historical choices for my launcher for say the Gemini after this. Like I might use an Atlas, um, like an Atlas kind of first stage and a Centaur second stage instead of using a Titan II, um, or maybe a Titan II first stage and a Centaur second stage. You know, I'll see what what is able to deliver a Gemini to orbit. Which of those um, is the you know the minimal mass to do so? Um, I might even use a procedural tank for the Atlas uh, tank. Um, yeah, you see it kind of wobbles around the position that you desire rather than just honing in on it and staying there uh, like like we like we'd want it to uh, and you know that you know SAS or stability will is good at holding the position uh, also not too good at achieving the final position that you want it to uh, so you know same as before about around now we will uh, drop the booster and then follow it up so let's drop this yeah like everything is you know, working really well um, FASA hasn't had a release for 1.1 yet um, you know, there's still the collider issues, and we're you know, kind of hope, uh, waiting on uh, people to fix that. Might still take a little bit of time, but there's also a reflections plugin 
uh, which is in the process of being rewritten. Uh, it comes with the old version of FASA, so you'll want to go into FASA, delete that plugin folder if you go and use the old version of FASA in 1.1. But beyond that, it yeah, works, uh, works pretty well. And as you, you can see, the city's there. Um, I suggest, um, uh, right, I didn't see that before. So I've got the cities, and you can see, you'll be able to see city lights later on, or on the nighttime side here. Uh, yeah, you see, you can see the city lights there. So if you look at the RVE thread, uh, Blacks has some uh, instructions, maybe a page or two back in the forum now, uh, on how to install the old version of RVE. Um, because it doesn't work with the most absolute recent version of Eve, but it works with a version from one or two back that he links there. You know, it's a very helpful post on how to install RV, the old version of RVE, but you know, do your best not to ask for support there because we'd rather have Pingo Pete spending time uh, working towards a future version of RVE rather than you know being bothered by questions and such about how to make an old version that's not meant for 1.1 work in 1.1. Uh, you know, Pingo Pete, like all the other modders and people, have a has a finite amount of time. Um, we're approaching orbit here. You know, same with the numbers. I might have to do a little bit of pitching down. <clears throat> so a little earlier, you could see the plume was a bit white, and that's what I'm seeing. I don't know if like the effects aren't uh, aren't traveling as far or as fast or something, but there it seems like they're kind of bunching up, as Nathan Kelta kind of worded it once. And causing the effects to add add up and you know become bright white instead of the various colors when they're um, more dispersed. Like here, we've only got three hundred and some particles, and when it's a thousand or more, the plumes for most things become very white. Uh, okay, so those numbers are still approaching. Need to arc down a little bit. Definitely better than my practice ascent in the practice video here. Uh, but yeah, tell me, you know, um, <clears throat> I plan to make these videos in shorter bits, you know, just a couple at a time. Previously, I was making like a bunch in one day, um, in one weekend day or something, and then posting them over a period of two weeks. But you know, I, I want people's feedback about, you know, what would you like to see in the series? I'll, I'll be building custom craft. You know, will, will that cause a lot of people to miss seeing the historical craft and the historical craft discussion? I'll still be using these historical payloads. Um, but I did also, you know, I, I certainly want to discuss uh, the process. Yeah, I dipped the collapse has appeared between 160 and about 165, but you know, that's uh, that's all right. There we go. That's just the PQS scale space transition time. Um, but yeah, tell me, you know, tell me what you'd miss. Tell me what you wouldn't miss. Um, because you know, there's there are interesting things about the historical craft that I could still also do videos of in addition. You know, really, it's just about uh, what people feel like they would learn from longer form content like this rather than being linked to a short FAQ or you know, various things we've already put together on the forum or on the uh, Realism Overhaul Wiki, if you look on the GitHub Wiki, um, all kinds of things. Uh, all kinds of information that already exists, uh, but you know, could be discussed more in depth like I did with my previous videos. Um, the only thing I don't plan to address in in the comments or in videos are, are you know, how did I get this install? Because it's it's such a it's such a shifting target, you know. Um, like there will be things where I think, okay, is it you know, this was difficult for me to to figure out how to get this mod working at this time. Uh, is, is it worth doing a video or a post, you know, discussing how to get that? And it could be the next day or a few days later, there will just be an easy release. And so it's not very difficult at all in order to install that. Or, you know, it could be that the process I used the previous day uh, is no longer valid. And if I, you know, when I go to update it, I'll have to use a completely different process. So that's in part why, you know, I generally don't provide a mod list at some point, you know, in, in weeks or months when the mods and things stabilize. Uh, and I, right now, most things are available on CCAN, but you know, FASA, I just grabbed an old version of FASA from to whatever, is it Spaceport now? Um, Spacedoc.info, something like that. Just the old version of FASA, remove the plugin, uh, the, you know, the, the reflection plugin, simple as that. Uh, really simple, uh, simple things like that. Um, the fairings I had a little trouble getting, um, but you know I just fa it said KZ fairing something was missing on some parts, so I looked it up and it was like procedural fairings for everything, or you know I think it was the Mercury and um, or it was the Atlas and Titan fairings I was missing that I used in my previous videos, so I just had to find the right pack for that. You know, weird little things like that. You know, most things are available through CCAN uh, now, which is awesome, but the things that aren't are interesting and difficult to put together. Um, but yes, soon there should be a FASA release, and um, Black's RVE uh, post in the RVE forum thread is is really handy. Um, so now that I've put this in or uh, put you know a human into orbit, and I'll be able to bring them back. Oh yeah, let's show off this. So you can see 
<laughs> how the crew member is rotating there with the IV, uh, the uh, IVA uh, overlay, which I think is pretty cool. Let's just stop that rotation. But yeah, you've seen um, you've seen the the reentry process already. Um, so I think I'll just do that off camera in a bit. Here, I just want to close that IVA. Uh, but yeah, let you know. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see constructed. Um, I'm, I'm gonna just carry through the the human uh, space program. I still need to throw something at Mars. Um, you know, not uh, not too many crazy things. But you know, I need to. I want to put something in orbit of Venus and or Mars. Really, it's it's very much the same. I'll probably do a flyby. Uh, have a craft fly by Mercury. And that's most of what I will accomplish probably before I get really you know, decent hydrolox technology. So hydrogen, uh, liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen, upper stages. And once I have those, um, you know, I can. I want to, you know, place a, a human on the moon, and my kind of stretch things beyond that would be to do. Um, it's so the thing that would take less, the least delta v would be to do a human flyby of Venus. So you, a craft flies by Venus, and just like say with a free return trajectory where you fly by the moon uh, in a retrograde fashion, where the moon slows you down a bit, and then that causes you without a real expenditure of more delta V to be able to re-enter safely at Earth. Um, you'd fly by Venus, Venus would change your trajectory a bit, and you would be returned back to Earth. So without much more expenditure of delta V, no more than a couple hundred meters per second, people could fly by Venus and then return. So that would take not that much delta V actually. And the trick with that is planning tools. So if I can figure out the planning tools, that is possible. Uh, beyond that also, potentially putting a, a crew into orbit of Venus or into orbit of Mars and bringing them back. So those are things um, I've never accomplished, I don't think, but just because various little bugs and things get in the way. Um, that I'll pro I'll find various workarounds for. Like I've tried to do it with Hydrolox, but Hydrolox does or doesn't boil off the right amount, you know, over periods of time, for example. So I would just send, you know, use non-hydrogen uh, oxygen fuels to carry out those missions. But yeah, those are the kind of the things I want to to do. Um, you know, go through the general accomplishments of the uh, of the historical space programs and uh, you know extend it a bit beyond like that. Huh. Yeah, it's good to be back. Um, it's nice to be playing in 1.1 because now I could just make, uh, it's a shame, I could make a bunch of videos in, an, in a row now without having to reboot because I'm at right, right now between 8 and 9 gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit um, version of KSP and no trouble at all thanks to the 1.1 update. Huh. So thanks for watching RP Zero America. Again, you know, leave, uh, leave whatever you like in the comments. Um, preferably suggestions on what you'd like to see in the future. Uh, if you have any questions about how to get things working or how to get mods installed or whatnot, you know, go to those threads because me and other, you know, other R RP0 and Realism Overhaul contributors, you know, we look at those threads and we answer, answer those questions. So that's the, that's a good place to ask because the more people are much more, many more people are likely to see answers there than on my forum thread. So, uh, or than on, on YouTube, and I don't plan to answer those questions on YouTube anyhow. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.